What's up guys, got the 21 holiday meltdown going on right here, right now. It's time to get started. Let's burn some fat this holiday instead of gaining fat like we normally do. This program is gonna allow you to cheat a little bit and still get away with it. And that's how this program is designed. Now, based on which days you're gonna cheat, you're gonna have to change up the program a little bit, but I've got it listed as if you were gonna cheat every Saturday. All right, but you can change that to a Tuesday or a Wednesday, it doesn't matter, you just gotta follow the process. So there's, there's a couple different things going on. You have higher carbohydrate days, which is your workout days, and then you have lower carbohydrate days. So we do carb staggering. One day you go high carb, next day you go low carb, basically no carb. And the other thing you do is you have your cheat days, which is normally gonna be on Saturday, and then you have fast days. Now, if you are not gonna blow it out and do the cheat days, you really don't have to do the fast days. You can just keep going the high carb, low carb, and that program will work very well for you, you get a lot of great results. If you wanna do the cheat days, which is what this program is about, the next day you do a fast day. So you'll consume nothing but catalyst and water all day long. You can get away with doing raw vegetables on this day, but I mean, if you've ever fasted, if you haven't fasted before, you definitely wanna get some raw vegetables and have something to chew on, but you're not eating anything all day, the day after you do the cheat day. Now, a couple rules on the cheat day. You still have to get the frequent meals like we're getting on these regular days but you can eat what you want to. The other thing is you can't absolutely get full. So like you can't eat like a whole thing of pizza. You can eat a couple slices and get away with it. And the next meal you can have a high calorie meal there too, but it, it, you just can't get full on that kind of stuff because that will definitely make you gain weight. It'll be hard to battle that out even if you are doing a fast day the next day. So let's talk about the workout days and non-workout days. These should also be labeled carb days and no carb days. So you notice on Monday, which is a day that you're gonna be doing workouts typically, you're gonna have carbs in the morning with a protein, a protein and a carb combination mid-morning, protein carb combination at lunch. After that, your next two meals, you do a protein and a fat combination. Notice there's a, a protein shake there and a peanut butter. That's a protein and a fat. Four ounces of lean red meat and, and green veggies. That's a protein and a fat combination. On Tuesdays, you just do protein and vegetable protein and fat combinations all day long. You don't, you don't do protein and carb combinations. And you just go back and forth with that, with that program, um, doing the high carb day, the low carb day. Some days you're gonna end up doing workouts even when you're on the lower carb day, but it's listed there for you as, that, that needs to be one of your lighter workout days because you're not gonna have the same energy as you would having these carbohydrates. Um, I, the, also, the program is built for variety, guys. There's tons of different uh, recipes in here for you to use. You're not going to be able to get to all those. You probably don't have enough time today to cook all those. What your goal is to do is to cook you know, twice a week, Sundays and Wednesdays. Go ahead and find something that you like on the recipe list and do that repetitively. Now, um, you know, let's say there is a, uh, like this one's a protein and a carb, and it's, and it's the protein banana bread, but you don't feel like cooking that. You can do eggs and oatmeal there, all right? Just think about what the nutrient is yielding, if it's a protein and a carb or a protein and a fat, and then you can replace that. So in other words, if you got tired of egg whites over here, you don't wanna eat eggs that morning, you can do turkey sausages there. Fine, no problem, because that's still a protein, and then you're just gonna have some vegetables with that. And then there's a cup of oatmeal. So you do turkey sausage, cup of oatmeal, that would be a fine replacement for that day. So check out the program, guys. Let me know if you have any questions. Make sure you're making it to the workouts. You need to be there, you know, at least three times a week. You can definitely go more than that. Uh, Saturdays are your cheat days. And remember my rules on that. You still have to eat the frequent meals. You got to drink your water. And uh, by the way, you need 100 ounces of water every single freaking day, regardless of what day it is. And uh, that is the program, guys, in a nutshell. But check out everything else. The uh, skinny mini workouts are there. Uh, so if you can't get to the workout, you've got at least something else there you can do to kind of get that metabolism going. All right, good luck. Let me know how you do with your progress. I'll see you soon.